Hey everybody, I'm Victor of Saving Skylands, and today, finally, we're going to be discussing what's going on with Skylanders, the beloved kids franchise that I play every day as a 20-year-old. And uh, a lot has happened over the past month. We, we have had some buyouts, some money's been moved, some owners, some new owners, stuff like that. We got a lot of things to discuss, so today we're going to discuss together, and I do say together because I want you guys throughout the video to add your input into the comments. I'm going to try to respond to everybody I can because the only way we're going to keep Skylanders alive is to keep talking about it and keep the community strong. So that's what we're going to do. We're going to break down all the options on what Skylanders could do from here. So if you guys somehow didn't know, Microsoft bought Activision and Activision owns Skylanders and Activision's not touched Skylanders for what, five, six years now. Nothing's happened. The community's kind of stood still. A lot of people have dropped off and a lot of people have just held on and tried to hold on to their childhood like me and play it every single day and wait for new content. But the thing with Microsoft now owning Activision is Microsoft is obviously connected to Xbox. Xbox has Game Pass. Game Pass brings back, you know, 360 games on the newer console. So, that's what they could do with Skylanders. But they'd have to do it in a way that, I mean, they could just literally put it on Game Pass and be like, here it is. If you have the figures and the portal, you can play it. If not, you're screwed because we're not making more. Th that's the reality of it. You, they're not making any more figures, any more starter packs, nothing. They could give you the game on Game Pass, but that's it. And I would buy a new Xbox just for that reason. If I could play Spyro's Adventure and Giants on a new console, because my Spyro's Adventure currently took a <laughs> on me. So uh, I have to buy the Wii version to be able to play it, which I've yet to do. So this Game Pass thing could really work, and I think it would be a great idea. Because you got to think, in their eyes, they're probably thinking, if they're thinking about Skylanders at all, is it worth reviving a dead franchise? And... I hate to say it's dead, but it's dead. There's no new content, therefore it's dead. The community's not dead, but the game is. But you got games like Fortnite and all these online games. I mean, still uh, Minecraft is still successful just because of the creativity of it. So if they were able to do something with Skylanders that would be able to be on Game Pass and just say, here you go, figure it out, I think everybody would be okay with that. So let's say there's not a remaster and no new game. They could release the game, like I just said, on Game Pass and just say, you know, figure it out. If you have the toys to do it, do it. If not, go to your used game store and try to figure it out. But overall, the games might look might look a lot, little better on like the newer, newer consoles and stuff, but it's not a remaster. Like you could tell between Spyro's original games and then the Spyro's Reignited Trilogy how good those look i've never played it but i've seen videos on it and it looks absolutely amazing so while i'm just mentioned a remaster let's say they go the remaster route let's say they remaster the original two games because those are the oldest obviously and these can be played on the ps5 or xbox i don't even series x i don't even know i'm not an xbox person so i don't know but um even if they did remaster them what would you do with the figures they would have to make the figures compatible, and if they did that, they'd have to put more in circulation because it's it's just not fair. If not, they'd have to make them in-game unlockables or purchases, and in the day and age we're in right now, they would be purchases, 100%. Because of how much money they made off these figures, they're going to do the same exact thing. It was successful once, it'll be successful again in a brand new way. Then you just got to think, what do you do with the players that have collected all these figures over the past 10 or 11 years, whenever a remaster might come out? What do you do with them if you're going to make it all in-game purchases? You got to make them compatible as well. If so, it's not fair. It's so not fair. To them, they might not care at all, but to us, it'll be crushing. We've collected these things. We love using them and we can only use them on the older consoles. Like they'd have to make them compatible with using in-game purchases or unlockables or using the portals and the actual figures 
And like I had thought about it and I was like, they would be cool if there were unlockables, like maybe throughout the levels or whatever, you find a heroic challenge. Maybe Callie will be in the level. Like they can add a little piece like that. You complete the heroic challenge and maybe a Skylander joins your team. Or you just do the old fashioned heroic challenges and you unlock them that way. Something like that. There's so many ways this could go. And I've the whole booklet written down and it's all just mumbling together because that's where I need your guys' thoughts as well. What would you guys want? Would you guys want figures only, them to put more in circulation? Probably the worst option. Or in-game purchases, no toys, or a mixture of both? Let me know in the comments. Okay, so now that we've covered the remastered route, let's say they want a new game or a reboot of the series. What will they do? Are they going to just trash all of our original characters and NPCs? They better not. The Skylanders community as a whole might tear down everything if Flynn isn't in the game. If Flynn is in the game, we're, we're good. But you have to implement clearly new villains. Keep Chaos in there, obviously. He's the main guy. But you can make a new story. You can make it canon. You can make it not canon to the rest of the games. None of us really care at this point. But keep our characters as, as we know and love them. Now, what style would the game be? Would it be like a Red Dead Redemption open world type where you truly save Skylands and travel across Skylands, maybe using vehicles to go underwater, or you can jump in a car to go across Skylands, or you can just walk. It gives you the option or use a plane to go up into this, what is it, Skylands? Did I really just say that? Anyways, it could be that option, which I love that idea. I love the idea of an open world Skylanders game but it's not my favorite. My favorite will be at the end. You could keep the old style of go somewhere, return home, go somewhere, return home, go somewhere, return home. It gets tiring over time, but I think people would still enjoy it, but I don't think it's the best option. Now, this one got commented a lot in one of my previous little informational videos, and Ring of Heroes. As you guys know, the server shut down, the game is shutting down. People wanted a console version of that game to an extent. They want to be able to use their figures to go into a Ring of Heroes type game, which is like, I don't know, like one team versus another. You face each other like Pokemon and then, you know, you get a winner. There's no real travel or gameplay involved. I don't like this route, but if it could be a cool mini game, I guess. But as a main story game, cut it in the butt. I don't like it. Now time for my favorite style of game and that I would love to see a Skylanders game in because it takes from one of my favorite Sky or favorite franchises ever and that's Marvel's Ultimate Alliance. I loved Marvel's Ultimate Alliance 1 and 2. I have yet to play 3 because I don't have a Nintendo Switch. But from 1 and 2, you have a team of 4, but you can go in with a team of 1 if you want to. And 3 of them are controlled by the system itself or you can have 4 players involved. And you go across, let's say, Skylands in a team of four Skylanders that you that can be changed out in interchangeable points. Like in Marvel's Ultimate Alliance, there was little like shield points where you could go interchange your team with like 25 other superheroes, probably more than that, and then come out with a brand new team. Just imagine if they changed that little shield port with a portal. With like one of the original portals, Skylanders could jump on it in the game and then interchange them with any Skylanders you want to be in the game. Maybe you need a certain gimmick to get past a level. You switch them out and then you go. And maybe through the levels you unlock more, just like Marvel's Ultimate Alliance. And then when you complete the game and you may have all the Skylanders, you collect all the unlockables to unlock the legendary ones or whatever. You get costumes, you can still do upgrades, but the figures are no more. I know it's tough to do, but in this day and age, it's the ideal thing to do. And I think that's the right thing to do. If you want Skylanders to live on and create a new gaming, I don't know, community for this upcoming generation, you got to get rid of them. It's just the way it is. To have a successful game, Toys to Life is dead and it won't be successful again. Watch, I'll say this and then it happens and then I'm screwed and everybody's going to say I'm wrong. But I don't think I'm wrong at all. But Marvel's Ultimate Alliance, if you haven't played it, play it. And get a feel for that style of game and just imagine instead of Marvel superheroes, you're using Skylanders. I, I think it's a great idea. Now, if they do go that route and there's no more toys, 
none. They are not compatible. You can collect them and play them with the old games if you want. It's not a remaster. It's a brand new game that has nothing to do with Toys to Life. It has to do with Skylanders, but not the toys. Yes, it would be heartbreaking that the thousands of dollars we've all spent on Skylanders went pretty much down the drain, other than the fact that we got to enjoy them for 10 years. That's great. But it would hurt. But I think most people could get over it. Because it's not like you still can't, it's not like you can't use them anymore. You can still use them how you were in the old games. If there's a new game that doesn't require the toys, I'd be all on board. It makes things so much easier as long as they don't make it in-game purchases because I'm really not a fan of that. Now, any of the styles of games, you got to think, are they really going to make 300 plus Skylanders available? Because that's going to be crazy. That's literally how. That is such a huge roster, and you think, like, I'm going back to Marvel's Ultimate Alliance again. Their roster is big. It's like a 35-man roster. And that seems big in that game, and it takes up the entire screen. 300? How? 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 In one game. It seems a little obscene, but I think you have to. Because if they're going to go all the way into creating a new game and bringing back some Skylanders, just some, that's not enough. We've, I mean, we've waited six years. you got to let us use all the Skylanders. I better see every single Skylander from Spyro to Neo Cortex, who I can't even stand. I want to be able to use him, even if it's for a minute. Now, within the game, you got to think, well, what about the gimmicks? What about the gimmicks we've, we've, we've experienced? We've got giants. Are there going to be feats of strength? Um, are there going to be big boulders that I can pick up with only a giant? Swap force. Are there going to be swap force zones, swap challenges? Trap team. Is there going to be trap tanium where only I can get into this uh, area if I have a trap tanium weapon? Weapon. I can never say it right. I know. Correct me if I'm wrong. Whatever. But and then is there superchargers? If you get the vehicles, what am I going to do with that? And then senseis. Are they going to be sensei shrines? Are they going to be able to boost stats on your normal Skylanders, maybe? Maybe they can teach your normal Skylanders once you unlock the sensei and kind of boost them up to an Eon's Elite level. Maybe not that overpowered. But there's different ways that it could work. And I understand from a Toys for Bob, Activision, Microsoft, anybody who ever had anything to do with Skylanders, why it's difficult to continue after that sixth game. Because there's so much that you've built up to and so much we have now that it could be complicated to condense it into a brand new story. Now, this is another part where I want you guys to get involved. Now, what would be the new gimmick? What is the point of this game? Because the Skylanders franchise is based off of gimmicks. Giant Swap Force, uh, Trap Team, Superchargers, Senseis, uh, Imaginators. Um, so what's, what's next? Because you got to be after something. You're not going to be after just defeating villains for no reason just because they're causing mischief. So you got to think, what's new? If there's not, I better be able to use everybody's gimmick in a, in a form during the game. If there is a new gimmick, what's it going to be? That's my question for you guys because I draw a blank up in here trying to think of something new and creative that everybody would be like, wow, that's, that's cool. And then there'll be these new new set Skylanders within the game that are brand new we've never seen before because I pray they don't do reposes like they did for superchargers because whew, they did my boy Terrafin bad and once again in this day and age almost every game is online so online Skylanders game I'm all for it bring back pvp bring it back I want it now that is a demand and I want it to be online. I want to be able to face off online. I want to be able to take my, uh, who would we, I want to take my Gilgrunt and defeat everyone online. I know it's not going to happen, but Gilgrunt could defeat, you know, quite a few. But I want to, I want that to happen. Maybe you can sync up like a lot of people do in Superchargers, or a lot of people don't know, but in Superchargers on the PS4 or Xbox One or whatever, you can actually do online co-op throughout the story, which is super cool. And a lot of people don't know that, and I've yet to try it. But it's super cool. And if they were to do that, or maybe if it was open world, maybe there would be like different servers where there's only a limited amount of people, Skylanders, allowed to roam within the whole Skylands area. All for it. I think it's great. Let me know what you guys think. And I mean, it's just no wonder why like it stopped. I mean, I think everybody stopped questioning why Skylanders died. Like 
the last two games fell off and the community fell off because that age group got older. I think they moved into like high school at that point, like I did, and I dropped Skylanders completely. So you got to think, you have a whole new base of fans that wants to play this franchise that's on these old consoles. So for the younger generation, Microsoft now has a team up with someone to work this out. Because it's hard enough for me to explain it and, and write it down and like all my thoughts. Can you imagine what it's like for them trying to create this game? And it's not creating a game from scratch. If they were to do that, no one would probably play. It would be like Skylanders, blah, with all these characters you don't know, even though you've spent 11 years trying to, you know, understand every single one of them and level them up. And they just hit us with brand new things that it wouldn't be enjoyable anymore. But it's just, I hope it happens, but no wonder it's difficult for them. That's why I'm not, I'm not rushing anything. I'm not out here being angry. I'm just waiting, and I, I I think that's what everybody should do. Just wait. Show your support. Show your support for the franchise. I don't care what you have to do. If you want to create an account just to show your Skylanders or play Skylanders, I don't care if it's on YouTube, TikTok, Instagram, Twitter, Reddit. I don't I don't I don't care. Show your support. Show your support for the for the franchise itself and the buyout. Microsoft being the new owner, and maybe if there's enough of us. Enough of us band together as a community. Maybe we'll catch their eye and they'll even think about creating a new Skylanders game or remastering it for us as a community. And uh, I'm going to enter a clip right here uh, in a second. And it perfectly sums up what I just said in a better manner. It's from Crash of Skylands. I'll leave the link up here somewhere. And uh, go check that video out as well. And it, it describes everything perfectly. So Crash, take it huge thing for us Skylander fans. So that's what we got to do. Show support. Push the fact that you can play these games on, say, Game Pass and build up. And for those out there who's like, I don't have an Xbox or PC to play it, show support. If you see that Skylanders is going to be added to Game Pass, you kind of be like, oh my gosh, this is awesome. That's so exciting to see Skylanders being able to play. And if we just show support and just show that, hey, this is still a viable market, this could be something that we could have in the future. So that's truly all I have for you guys. I mean, I want a new Skylanders content as much as anyone else, but you can't rush it. We can't hate on Xbox or Microsoft and Activision for not giving us anything or the buyout. Just show your support. Maybe one day we'll get lucky and it'll, it'll happen. But until then, you just got to stay positive. Like I've said a million times within the past 30 seconds, show your support for the franchise. Keep loving this franchise. And overall, just keep having fun. That's all we can do. So overall, thank you guys for watching. Let me know all your thoughts in the comments. I know I said a lot today, and I know I asked a lot today. But to keep the community strong, we have to keep talking to each other. So I'm going to talk to you guys as much as I can. And uh, surprise, I'm back on YouTube.